Dolce Aqua is one of the best known villages in western Liguria. Perhaps also because on arriving here you are struck by the medieval bridge spanning the river. It is rare for a work of stone to communicate a sense of lightness, but this work succeeds in doing so, as Monet had well understood, and in fact he returned this magic to us in a famous painting. Talking about lightness, you certainly have to see the altar piece by Ludovico Brea that has been in the village church for over 500 years, but this village has many museums, a site and an app that will guide you to on a visit you will not forget. In this video, let us invite you to see Dolce Acqua with slightly different eyes. Here and there, as you walk through the streets, you will see, for example, frescoes and a strange monument dedicated to goats. They are the works of a 20th century artist, a friend of Picasso's, called Barba di Rame, a painter of peasants and goats. This world has always possessed a deep religiosity, and yet its relations with the ecclesiastical authority were not always good. Listen to what Mr. Cesare tells us. My grandfather told me that in ancient times, perhaps in the 18th century, there was famine due to the lack of water, because it had not rained for a long time. The population was, therefore, also in difficulty to pay the so-called tithes, due to the bishop of Vintimiglia. Since these tithes were not being paid, the bishop then asked the inhabitants for an account, who replied that they were not able to pay because they could not even feed their children. The bishop, not at all moved, then came to Dolce Acqua with a company of soldiers to claim his money. The population rebelled and beat the bishop and soldiers and sent them away. But let us continue our walk by taking you to places well signposted, from which you can set off on excursions where you can see the harmony that has been created here between nature and man. As Mr. Paolo says, these paths can be walked in all seasons, always encountering a different landscape. As you walk, you will also see a large number of vineyards. These plants produce one of the rarest and most renowned products of Western Liguria, Rossese di Dolce Acqua, or simply Dolce Acqua. If you wanted to know more about this wine, you have to know the so-called nomeranze, that is to say the different locations of vineyards. You will discover that each nomeranza will tell you about the dolce acqua in different and intense ways. Let us close this visit by talking about a dessert, Miche, which is one of the symbols of this village. But let Mrs. Mariella tell us about this legend. When Dolce Acqua was a marquisite, the marquis had the right to demand his bride spend her wedding night with him. One day, a young bride named Lucrezia refused to give in to the marquis's lusts. She was then locked up in prison and died in that sad place. Lucrezia's husband then took revenge by hiding inside a hay cart in order to sneak into the castle. Once inside, he finally managed to find the Marquis's bedroom and while the latter slept, he put a knife to his throat forcing him to swear that from that day on he would no longer exercise that evil right. The people of Giorgi Acqua then had a great feast and for the occasion made a cake in the shape of the female sex and to mock the Marquis, when a young girl got married, brought this cake to the castle. The name Miketta in Ligurian dialect is in fact the name given to the female sex. Thank <laughs> you.